Good day and um, welcome to your favorite sport program on TV Plus Sport. Today will be an exciting moment on the show today uh, to bring what you should be expecting in the world of sport. Most especially what have been trending um, of, um, of recent. My name is Muda Shirushitu and um, it to, let you, to let you know that um, we are a bit, um, I'm sorry for coming um, behind um, schedule. Um, if you check your time, it's a minute um, past um, um, the hour that we should um, really clock in. But what good news is that um, a lot of our viewers will probably see themselves on TV at uh, we talk about one interesting uh, moment of sport that happened in Lagos um, over um, the week. And that's talking about the 2024 Lagos um, Women Run. The Lagos Women Run in the night edition started at um, 7 a.m. at um, the famous Tafa Balewa Square and then they, from there the route took them 10 kilometers and ended at the Onikon Stadium. All this um, um, period is just to show the moment of how women in Lagos have always enjoyed the game, um, the sport called um, marathon. So we'll be giving you some um, sounds and bites of um, that moment of the 2024 um, Lagos Women Run about over 10,000 um, women from um, Nigeria and some women um, from um, outside the country because the second place winner of the 10 kilometer is a Cameroonian. And let's not forget, we have a Nigerian winning this for the third time, Joy Ebiye. Joy Ebiye um, won in 2021, 2023, and she also have done a very fantastic um, moment um, for herself. So it's just about creating a city that enables women to run, to participate in the sports that will bring about love, about unity in a country where you need to always get together to get the best out of um, each other. So the Lagos State Government being part of this initiative and also um, we, we spoke with um, the convener, Tayo Kukwala, and not also the winner, Joy Ebiye, about moments like this. I just want a moment to showcase um, how Lagos looks like. And also before the event, there is so much um, traffic um, diversion, which was properly broadcasted to um, to the resident of um, Lagos about how the movement is going to be on that day. So it's an each free um, edition and next year will be the 10th edition of this um, fantastic moment. So I tell you to enjoy a moment of one of the best um, sports story over the weekend. Enjoy yourself. When we come back, we'll see talking sport. I mean, come on, come Thank on, come on. Power for soft, powered by Nike. The brand when he said no how to support ladies. Una no di this is so cool, man. Guys, look at that touch. This is sweet. This is international sport. Yeah. Our sponsor. Thank you so much for powering this edition, especially in a time like this where people are dropping off. Yes, we don't hold this on, we don't hold on. Can I give them some time? Race or a marathon 
action that is essentially dedicated to women. You know, everybody knows that we have Lagos, you know, City Marathon, which is a mix of race by different people. But this one is dedicated to women, strong women, important women, you know, inspirational women in Lagos State coming together to run. And it is beyond run, particularly this year. It's a run that seeks to promote unity. It's a run that seeks to promote peace. It's a run that seeks to show the energy, the spirit of Lagos, the friendliness that we see, and the community of people of strong will who are ready to impact the society in a more positive way. That is why we have this thing that states that from the starting line to, to social change. So we have people from different areas of you know, development in the society coming together to run under an atmosphere of peace and unity. Much in our bouquet in terms of promoting recreation, fitness and competition, everything that is related to sports. And we are also moving into the terrain of sportsmen as well. You can see that while people are running, they are also having fun, they are excited. So the purpose of that Lagos Active Challenge is to present a challenge to Lagosians on their effort in terms of improving, you know, physical strength. And uh, with the help of God, through prayer, God make it to come to pass. I give God all the glory for that. Yeah, I do want to win more. I'm looking forward to become a winner all the time because with my training and with the help of government too. We need the equipment. They should even keep helping us. And we also, I still want to give God all the glory for the sponsors of uh, uh, Lagos Women Run. I want to say a big thank you to them because they have been keeping this uh, with us and we say Lagos women must be faith and for us to be faith we must have a platform where we have to come together you know to celebrate ourselves these women that you've seen today they covered 10 kilometers some people ran and some people walk the most important thing is that they were able to do it and they were able to be part of it the fun going on here everybody was able to be part of the fun and that alone is fitness you know the moment you are happy your inner self is happy and that's what we've done here a lot of people actually plan themselves for this event every year to see the beautiful thing that is happening in lagos you see we have an historical landmark that tells people how lagos started and this is one thing that is very very uh, important to us we have the blue lane the blue line we have the red everything happening in lagos we have the beautiful Eco atlantic we have the beautiful uh, you know our lower road you have the beautiful water in lagos lagos is a place where you come you see beautiful things and that's what we are doing we are celebrating the city we want to make this city one of the biggest tourism center in the world <laughs> Okay, you are our sponsor. Who go shop, Nabi? We are happy to need that. Ginger, ginger. We are like it. Interesting moment, interesting moment, and you wonder what can we have the sport without women's involvement and participation. 
And um, next year will be the 10th edition of the um, Lagos um, Women Run. You can see how fantastic it is to see our women getting fit. So like um, the, the director general said in the interview that um, Lagos is moving towards an affotainment sport. That it will just be about sport, about sport with entertainment, and that's where the world is heading to right now. So it actually started um, 7 a.m. TBS, the famous Taba Balewa Square, and um, a 10 kilometer route from there, saw them going through Aulaho Road, the fantastic um, Eco Atlantic City, and the ocean by the side. All these are moments and um, that we always want to rejoice and that's why after um, almost more than um, 30 minutes joy eb got to the finish line first and it has been wonderful and probably you a part of this you probably must have seen yourself on the screen that um, next year is going to be the 10th edition of one of the most glamorous um, women oriented or women only sport that's the lagos women some might ask that why don't you have um so probably were asked that why don't you have um, the Lagos men run? I mean, that would just be about um, the gathering of men getting themselves um, involved in marathon. Uh, but since uh, many years ago, they've not been so much about marathon in the city like, um, like Nigeria. But um, we have to thank um, those that brought about the initiative of the Access Bank Lagos City Marathon. Um, we, um, Plot Spot, and especially plus um, TV Africa has been part of um, this um, interesting moment. So next year is also the 10th edition of the Access Bank um, Lagos um, City Marathon. So you can start preparing yourself to be part of um, the 10th edition also of um, the Lagos um, Women Run. So fantastic moment to keep Lag the Lagos women and those that are part of this interesting moment fit. Let's um, away from that, we go to chess, from marathon to chess. One of the reasons why you keep watching um, Plot Sport is that it give you what you need to know in the world of sport. So, so we have to talk about another ninth edition of um, a particular sport, which is um, chess. Chess for Change Initiative is called uh, the PWC Chess um, for Change Initiative. It's about um, secondary school students in Lagos coming together from different um, educational district um, to be part of this um, initiative as uh, to bring the best of the best when it comes to um, chess. Chess has been um, qualified, has been labelled as one of the sports that brings about the, the, the intelligence of a child. And that's why stakeholders have been saying that the federal government and some state government to include chess in the curriculum, just as we study maths we study physics or any subject as the case may be. Chess should also be involved because the um, scientists and every players have experienced that um, you get uh, more understanding, more IQ reasoning um, when it comes to um, chess. So that's why we keep talking about chess and the media vision and also um, P PwC have been doing this for a very long time, also in conjunction with Nigerian Chess for Education and also um, School Sports, that's Lagos State Sport Commission, the department called School Sports have also been involved that yes, when we are talking about sport, we should also be talking about students and that's why we, this initiative has always been an interesting one over, over the year. And stakeholders have promised that next year, the 10th edition of um, Chess for Change, the PwC Chess for Change um, initiative is going to be loud and better and what means by being better is that there'll be more added schools there'll be more in innovation and there'll also be more gifts um, to be won and it's not just about the student the chess teachers in various in these schools like the Ajayi Kauda um, secondary school not forgetting other schools that were involved that these schools have what it takes to make um, Nigerian stu Lagos students especially part um, very very intelligent and part of um, the global world when it comes to chess across um, across the so we give you time for you to um, hear what um, these stakeholders from um, the partners of um, PwC also the man they call um, um, Fela Bank Lemon who is the um, founder of Media Vision also we spoke with um, the vice president of the Nigerian Chess Federation how um, it all went down at the indoor sport hall or the testing Balogun Stadium enjoy this like giving back to society and we thought of it that was the easy um, effective way for us to do that and that's why we continue to sponsor this event that we have we've done it for nine years we will be ten years next year and we promise that we will continue 
We will continue to do the same. I was coming to give back to society, continue to support these amazing kids in their careers. Because chess is not just a com it's not just a sport. Chess builds a lot of things in an individual. Confidence, character, intelligence, these are qualities of chess players. And that's what we love to see in these kids. So the edition is, is going to be way, way bigger than this. Um, they continue, we continue to support um, the students. And that excites us, that um, it shows the kind of organization they are. They've been committed to it for nine years. And, but for us, it's the opportunity we give students. I mean, I'm always excited. You know, talent is everywhere, but opportunity is not. Um, These this students have the opportunity of learning chess, and that helps their critical thinking, gives them confidence, and ultimately will help them impact the world positively. So we're excited that we've been able to do that over the past nine years. The benefit for the students is simple. I mean, we've expanded the number of schools. Um, you can see the average student that plays this. We track their performance in school, and anybody that gets into the chess for change, their academic performance improves. You know, and that excites us. I mean, so that's why we, our, our hope is that next year is 10 years and also to make it bigger and better. Ultimately, every year, make it bigger and better. Focus has been on public schools in Lagos State. Um, this year, I think we have about 18 schools across four districts in Lagos State and about 72 students. And you will see a lot of involvement, a lot of development, uh, especially where you have new schools winning chess championships. So that means there is impact of this particular initiative. Very impactful in terms of uh, the effect on the students themselves. Uh, a student that plays chess, you cannot compare him with a student uh, that doesn't play chess. Um, you agree with me that uh, in terms of intellectual growth, in terms of critical thinking, in terms of uh, concentration, in terms of strategic decision making, uh, a student that plays chess will be smarter in performing in all those areas that they so i want to encourage everybody out there uh, who has the opportunity to play support uh, chess uh, because it will always impact on the society as a whole imagine someone that plays chess will not be associated with any form of crime because chess is associated with intellectual and it's real before you see someone associated with crime to be associated with intellect or rather the other way if you wonderful like the experience has always like been part of it the experience and the, the winning is um, very important too but the experience is the most important in there at least now i'm confident in my playing style and continue practicing chess and also um help my juniors to build their confidence and their playing style to help them win more games and to help them become as good as i am even better than i am an exciting journey in the last nine years because this has been a veritable platform for the discovery and nurturing of uh, talent in chess. You know, chess, because of the values that are embedded in it, it's, I mean, it's, not, you know, it's a project that should continue. When we are talking of critical thinking, strategic thinking, strategic planning, problem solving, even patience, any child that is going to excel must be able to be patient to sit down and read. You see, most of these children are extroverts. But by the time they start playing chess, you start the, you notice that they will just calm down. And that will help their academic better our children positively. The impact can is immeasurable. We went to the National Youth Games. We just came back. We went in uh, September. And I, I, I want to be proud to tell you that despite that the Lagos children, Lagos youth, competed against older athletes, we came back with one gold and one silver. And that supported and uh, um, added to, to our success. And for us to now uh, remain, retain the second position. And not only retaining that second position, we progress even within the second position. Because last year we had 21, uh, 21 gold, 19 silver, and 21 bronze medals. But this time around, we had 26 gold medals, we had 19 silver, no, we have 20 silver and of course 19 uh, bronze medals. And these medals from chairs came, were part of what brought the success to us. Interesting moment, interesting moment there, and that has to do with um, the ninth edition of the Chess for Changing initiative that brought about about 18 schools. Um, at the, it's a two-day event and it happened at the indoor sport hall of the um, Tassim Balogun Stadium and if you are watching us and you think um, chess is just like an ordinary game, no, chess goes beyond just um, the board, 
goes to you and talking about the king, the pounds, or or or, or the queen, or the king, as the case may be, on the on the chessboard. But severally, it's also been that have been testified that it just goes beyond that um, particular uh, moment. And if you want to be part of the show, you can just join us on all our social media platforms to be part of this interesting moment. You can join us on our X account. Also join us on Facebook and not forgetting Instagram where you get to know um, the best of the best in the world of sport. You can also drop your comment, I mean, your observation about um, the show and also um, what you want um, to be improved on the show. Definitely everything on the show has always been going on um, perfectly when it comes to promoting Nigerian sport and not just Nigerian sport, international sport. And that takes us to the next topic, the UEFA Nation League uh, match highlights um, between um, Greece and England. You're probably wondering that as Nigeria was playing over the week, before Nigeria played them a game, um, against the um, Benin Republic. Some nations, not just the um, UEFA nation, also the Asia qualifiers is still going on for the 2026 um, for them. And let's also remind you... Interesting moments. And um, when it comes to the world of um, football, the Three Lions, popularly the England, the male national team, are always a team and a delight um, for everyone to watch. And um, before we get to the next... Um, the Asia qualifiers. Um, let's take your mind to Rome, um, where we are the Wanda um, Diamond League. Interesting, this is just about athletics. So we'll be going straight to the Wanda Diamond League um, instead of um, the other qualifiers, the Asian um, qualifiers that was between Kuwait and also Korea Repo Republic. And the moments um, after the last Paris Olympic that been the Wanda Diamond League, as you all know, is um, where the best of the best in several athletics events come together to showcase um, what they have. And this time around, I uh, want to take our mind to Rome, what um, went on in Rome at the Diamond League. And let's not forget, it's um, pretty good to know that um, Nigerians have also been part of this um, wonderful movement. Recently, we know that um, we have our own Toby, also we have our own Ese Bume, who has been showing themselves in terms of um, the best of the best qualifiers, um, the best of the best um, in the Wada Diamond League. But this one is the Rome um, Diamond League where you have to see your favorites um, in the world of athletics, your favorites in high jump, your favorite in 100 meters, and your favorite in the 10 um, kilometers. So moments like this are what um, we should always celebrate. So from there, um, we now, with the absence of the, we now talk about the, um, the Asian qualifiers, where we show you the highlight of um, Kuwait and Faisal's um, Korea Republic. And that's the Asia qualifiers, and uh, I tell you, um, the world will probably be grateful for the game of football. It's not just about your continent. In every continent, there's always um, football. And that's one of the highlights a lot of um, Africans, Nigerians, don't get to watch. The highlight between games of Saudi Arabia, the Asia, in, um, in Kuwait, China, the Japanese, the South Koreans, you know. That football made in Asia. And um, a lot of Nigerians don't get to watch. What is it like? for Asians to play against themselves. You see China playing against Japan. You can remember the European, you can remember Germany playing against Romania, Germany, one of that thing. But when it comes to Asia, it seems that um, focus is not always there. But that's why we brought you that, so that um, you can know that even um, Son, the, um, the Tottenham player, also playing Wayne, because a lot of you see him just wearing the Tottenham jersey. We can as well see him now when is um country jesse playing against them um Kuwait. Cool well check your time is um i like for us to really drop the curtain onto this program i want to say a big thank you for being part of um of the show let's don't forget you can always watch us on all our social media platform for all the highlights and all the interesting moments you probably missed you can join us on um dstv channel 48 to get the best in the world of um of sports so i'll leave you with um, the 2024 Lagos um, Women Run. I'm Uda Shishitu. Bye for now.
I mean, come on, come Thank on. So very much. Powerful stuff powered by Nike. The brand when he said no how to support ladies. When I know the